I wanted to know where my food came from, so, you know, it's one of those things as a chef, it made sense to have the ability to tinker with the input and tinker with the output. So, you know, we had steak last night for dinner that I raised and it was fantastic. And I knew what it had eaten. I knew where it was raised. I'm a chef by trade and uh, my job currently uh, Northern Illinois University is to teach nutrition and hospitality students quantity food production. You know, that's one avenue that I, you know, participate in, in the culinary world or the hospitality world and the nutrition world because all of those menus that they develop have to be nutritionally uh, balanced. They have to meet high healthy regulations. In terms of land area, the small farmer in the United States controls the vast majority of the uh, land and the natural resources in rural and agricultural areas. So working with small farmers and as producers and stewards is essential in order to sort of uh, gain some of the green and conservation benefits that a lot of people desire in concert with the production benefits of uh, of reasonably priced food, local food, um, things that you can trace back to where it was produced. Farm here on McGurr Road is about 14 acres, 19 altogether with the farm buildings. And then we also have um, several other pieces of ground that we farm, uh, neighbor farms where they can't get large machinery in. So we have a total of about 25 acres altogether. We grow everything from asparagus to zucchini. So um, the A to Z's of vegetables. Okay. Primarily it's just my wife and I and my dad is retired and he helps and my mom is retired and she comes out and helps. So Red Home Farm is approximately 12 acres of which we do about eight acres in hay crop for the animals. We have a two acre pasture that we let the cows and the goats and the chicken graze in and, and roam. Uh, and then we have about two acres where the building is, the barn, the greenhouse, uh, and then the home itself. All right, straighten him out. Make sure there's only one in each. He's just getting it ready. I teach second grade in Plainfield. You know, when I'm home, I'm taking care of our four-year-old, Liam. And, uh, you know, obviously everything that goes along with being a wife and, you know, laundry and dishes and all that. And then outside, I play a supportive role to Brian. He, you know, his role is to be outside and taking care of the animals and, you know, the greenhouse and the garden plot, um, and milking the goats and the cows when we, you know, when we have a chance and collecting the eggs. So, you know, anytime he needs support with that, I'll come out. Sometimes with Liam, we'll come out and we'll help him. Liam's lately been into helping feed the cats and collecting the eggs. There really is a huge difference, at least with the you know, dollar twenty-nine cent per dozen white eggs as far as nutritional value goes. The chickens that lay those white eggs are fed more synthetic type meal and what we feed our chickens is much more nutritious and back to you know what chickens are supposed to be fed to be the healthiest and to get the most nutritious eggs. Plus they're free range so they're out and they're, you know, eating what they should be eating, worms and bugs and all that. And as you know, gross as that might sound, it actually gives us a, a much more nutritious egg. It's extremely important to eat locally and to buy locally as much as you can because your, your body requires certain nutrients that a lot of uh, processed and synthetic foods don't give you. The key term is nutrient dense or nutrient rich food. Food that is raised in a manner where they're given, you know, access to the outside, where they're given the appropriate food. Um, they're allowed to grow as naturally as possible in, you know, in a symbiotic environment. You know, there's research been done that proves that those will yield the most nutrient dense food. Now, if you have a more nutrient dense piece of protein, you need less of it to sustain yourself. You know, so to me, that will help 
many aspects, whether it's obesity, whether it's uh, starvation, you know, there, there's many avenues that, that nutrient-rich food you know, can help.